Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is Jerry. In this video, I'll show you all you need to know about the phone projection for Apple CarPlay on the Kia vehicles. This applies to all the modern Kia vehicles, um, either near new or future Kia vehicles, basically. Uh, if you're looking to purchase a Kia vehicle in Auckland, New Zealand, please contact us at Abitokoi or contact me directly, Jerry at Abitokoi.nz. Uh, if you, you find this helpful, please make sure to subscribe and like the video down below. That would be really helpful for the channel to grow. Let's get into it. And by the way, I'll leave all the timestamps down below for different process, different settings, all that things. If you wish to skip forward, feel free to click the timestamps down below on YouTube. Uh, so what we need to do for preparation, we're going to have a Kia car, obviously. We're going to need those uh, genuine cable, if recommended, or at least approved cable for your, uh, for your iPhone. Uh, in this instance, on the only middle one, the USB with the USB songwriting will support the Apple CarPlay. If you're going through other devices, uh, going through other USB points, they will only charge. By the way, uh, we're gonna need the iPhone, obviously. So we recommended a, a new iPhone for Apple CarPlay. If you are using a, a very old iPhone, they may not be available and on the newer generation as well, by the way. So click the settings. We are also need, we would also need to make sure your Siri and search is enabled. Uh, if you, it's not enabled, make sure at least allow the second one, press side button or press home button for Siri is enabled just over there. So this is the preparation process. Next process, I'll simply need to connect the, the Apple CarPlay um, iPhone with your cable. So plug it in, just like that. Now unlock the phone for us. So it's unlocked on your Kia vehicles. If it's not been connected before, it will give you this notification. We will need to click next. Uh, make sure you're okay with that. Click OK. There's uh, some terms and conditions. And then you will notice a notification on your phone. Do you want Kia to, to connect with whether your phone is locked? Uh, so that means even if your phone is locked by its plugged in, it's going to use the Apple CarPlay function. This is totally up to you. You can do now, now or now. In this instance, I will allow because I can use this phone as a private phone. So these are the screen looks like with the Apple CarPlay screen. You can swipe left and right. So that will just like your regular smartphone screen. And all these icons are the ones that support Apple CarPlay on your phone at the moment. Either Maps, Messages and Spotify Zoom. You may have more icons than me than I do or you may have less apps than I do. So this is what have apps that support Apple CarPlay at the moment. You can press this button to follow home button you can swap left and right whenever you like. Um, so let's go through the main screen first. So the main screen, this is the navigation main screen. So this is at the moment we're using the um, the Google map because we have previously select Google map. You can also use the iPhone map as well, the inbuilt map if you wish. You can also do playing, that's through the Apple music. But if you use Spotify before, this will show Spotify over there. You can tap the play button to do whatever you like for the view. And then press the icon that allows you to select either phone. So you can see your favorites, you can see your recent, you can see your contacts, you can see your keypad. That allows you to start typing whatever you like for the, uh, for the phone call. That's really up to you. Press the home button again, music. That allows you to play music, all that things. Um, this is not, we don't have anything to, for music. That's why it's nothing showing. Uh, the navigation on the home map display. So this is the Apple map, by the way. So if you don't want to search anything, tap search. That allows you to search different locations, POI, or you can tap the address by pressing the tap button, or you can do voice control. So press the voice control, speak to the speakers. The vehicle will guide you to somewhere, basically, to search the location for you. Uh, you can click the view button to either go forward or, or go to the north uh, button. You can do 3D or 2D to shift to the map view. So this is up to you. You can press the icon about reporting incident something like that to the app to the app you can do go forward or backwards up and down to see wherever you are now you zoom in zoom out whenever you like or we'll use the fingers to go forward and backwards just over there you can see your destination as well so that's your previous destination or your address all that things you can select this by going through destinations so these are the Google, uh, Apple map looks like. We will sp skip this. I'll go to the Google map for you as well. So Google map, this is how the display looks like. You can press the view button. Again, go forward, backwards, whichever you like. Zoom in, zoom out, just like that. Otherwise finished. Just over there. You can do search as well. Tap search. That allows you to search either recent address, work if you have saved something, gas stations or nearby stations just over there. You can also type the address two ways. One is to type. You can type 257 King Street, just over there to finish. Or you can do voice control, so press that. 
and um, yeah when you can go back to see your map view you can do settings as well to set up different things you can see your route options to avoid stuff like that avoid highway you can do map colors you can see your daytime daylight or nighttime night light uh, night view or automatic that shows you that automatically changes with your sort of light control satellite map you can see your map with satellite if you like otherwise press that you can disengage the satellite map just over there you can see the traffic you can see the north up you can change the volume of the volume control so once you press the volume you will need to use these buttons left up and down or these buttons on the left which have the vehicle you're driving so different locations maybe to change your volume on the navigation guidance this is totally up to you otherwise press home that allows us to back to go back home and your messages you also find your messages information everything and um, this won't read this won't display message everything but if someone sends a message it's going to show them either their name if you saved in a context or their number you press the tap the number or tap the name it will, it will give you it will read out the message for you and ask you do you, would you wish to reply this is up to you to see if you want to use it you can also tap right um, but you can only use this to voice command by the way because the vehicle does not allow you to type once the vehicle is on in apple carplay since it's not safe to do so so you have to do a voice command to type anything uh, now playing that's music we've already done that that's a good kia that allows you to go back to the home screen for example kia that's the home screen once we are get once we are back to home screen you can see the apple carplay icon pops up press the apple carplay we're back to where we are podcasts audiobook audio books that's available in the iphone uh, if you used anything like that you don't have to use that if you will. you can also see your calendars and allows you to see what's around uh, what's your nearest calendars next schedule everything like that you can do settings that allows you to change whatever you like either do not disturb while driving appearance or with dark or automatic you can see the whiter view and uh, whiter backgrounds you can see the wallpapers you can change whatever you like so you can select this one for example and that's pretty nice to have that you can do suggestions on dashboard so you can see on the very initial dashboard to show you where you are and you can show album art as well so you show you the graphic when you play music that's not not much things you have to change and you can also use Spotify to play music whatever you like again my phone is not having does not have anything in building Spotify so nothing's available you can do zoom that's for your vo voice message again uh, this is not gonna be a video sort of meeting or anything like that so those are the things that's available you may have more apps by the way that allows you to use different things um, yeah and the function you can also use Siri command when you start driving the vehicle so two ways to use Siri either press and hold this button the Siri will engage then you can talk to Siri ask Siri what's the weather like or another button you can use this voice command to ask Siri to guide you somewhere uh, or to choose a restaurant or to set the calendar to send a message or call someone someone this is will help you this will do other things that Siri will do simply tap this button and wait for this icon to pop up then speak to the Siri to whatever you like you can disengage by pressing the button or you can just leave it there wait for Siri to react just over there uh, so yeah that's all about the function everything I'll show you a couple of settings after this as well and the last setting you may want to set up is you can go into the settings on your iPhone so press settings you will need to go to general so in the general you will find CarPlay that's your Apple CarPlay press the CarPlay that allows you to see whatever you have set it up or connected with this um, with this device first one we have connected this one to kia because the name of this vehicle is kia and then you can customize as well you can forget this car if you wish so customize uh, you can see all the apps that you have showed on the top screen so what that means is you can line them up differently you can you can line the phone to the fourth one now you can see the phone goes to the fourth one the music to the first if you want to move the music to second just press this and drag it down just like that now you can see the music go to the second so let's say i'm driving on the right hand drive vehicle i would like phone to be close or i need to do just drag those things you can line them up you can also because for those devices for those information or apps they are default settings so you cannot delete them or anything like that they will permanently show on the screen but for other devices like podcasts or calendars or google map everything if you do not wish them to show you all you need to do is press the delete button 
you can remove them from showing on the screen just over there so you can swipe left now the zoom is gone basically that doesn't mean you are deleting the, the icon by the way your, your, your app is still on the phone uh, but instead it's going to be displaying at the bottom so if you do you do wish to edit that back up press the add button that will go back up now you can see the zoom it's back up on the screen so that's how to do this you can also reset if you want to reset anything otherwise go back just leave as it is uh, another function you can select is allow couple while well locked so that means when you initially connect it you can you can select this anyway you, you can disengage or engage that means when you lock the vehicle when you lock the phone sorry uh, you won't be able to have apple carplay display on the screen so yeah that's pretty much all about how to connect your iphone apple carplay with this screen with in a wide way in some devices you can also connect to uh, wireless once you connect your bluetooth uh, but in this instance uh, most of the kia rentals only in a wide way with a large screen so yeah that's all us for today and if you're looking to purchase any kia vehicles make sure you contact us at abitkoi in new zealand or contact me directly jerry at abitkoi.nz and if you're interested if you, you found this video helpful please make sure to subscribe and like the video down below and let me know if you have questions anything like that thank you very much see you next one